Meningitis is acute or chronic inflammation of the protective membranes covering the brain and spinal cord, collectively called the meninges. The inflammation may be caused by infection with virus, bacteria, fungi or parasites. Hello friends, welcome to TechQuest channel. This is for the medical technologists by your tech. In this video, we will discuss about bacterial meningitis. The list of bacteria causing meningitis and the lab diagnosis methods for the identification of these bacteria. Hematogenous spread, infection through the blood vessels. This is the most common way that the central nervous system becomes infected. The second method is direct spread from an infected site. The extension of an infection close to or contagious with the central nervous system. Example, infection of middle ear, sinusitis. The third is anatomical defects in central nervous system structures, surgery, Trauma or congenital abnormalities can allow microorganisms easy and ready access to central nervous system. Fourth method is infection travel along nerves leading to brain. Example, rabies virus and herpes simplex virus. Meningitis can be divided into two major categories. Prulent meningitis. Large numbers of polymorphonuclear cells are seen in this type of CSF samples. Usually, bacteria causes these infections. If ventricles become involved in this process, it is referred as ventriculitis. The second type of samples are aseptic meningitis, an increase of lymphocytes and other mononuclear cells in the CSF a negative bacterial and fungal culture. Aseptic meningitis is commonly associated with viral infections and is usually a self-limiting infection. Aseptic meningitis also a component of syphilis and other spirochetal infections, example leptospirosis and Lyme borreliosis. CSF sample processing method. CSF sample is a stat sample. It should be processed immediately. The sample should be centrifuged for 10 minutes at low speed around 1000 rpm. The supernatant is separated and the sediment is mixed gently and the smears are made for gram stain, methylene blue stain, if required zeal Nielsen stain. Smears are made by a drop of sample in the center of the glass slide and incubated at 37 degrees centigrade air dryer for 2 to 3 minutes. When dried, a drop of sediment is added onto it and dried again. Three to four drops of sample is added and dried. This makes the concentration of the sample. The dried smears are heat fixed stained. Culture media for CSF. Bacterial and fungal routine media should include a 5% sheep blood agar plate, chocolate agar plate and an enrichment broth, usually thioglycolate broth. Plate should be incubated at 37 degrees centigrade in 5 to 10 percent CO2 for at least 72 hours or a candle jar method can be used. The broth should be incubated in the air of 37 degrees centigrade for at least 5 days. The broth cap must be loose to allow free exchange of air. If organisms morphologically resembling anaerobic bacteria are seen on the gram stain or if a brain abscess is suspected an anaerobic blood agar plate must be inoculated. Sabrot's dextrose agar or other non-blood containing medium and brain heart infusion with 5% sheep blood are incubated at 30 degrees centigrade for 4 weeks for fungal culture. Haemophilus influenzae. Haemophilus influenza is the causative agent of disease such as pneumonia, meningitis, otitis medium and conjunctivitis. Meningitis caused by Haemophilus influenza occurs almost exclusively in children less than 5 years of age and most invasive Haemophilus influenza disease is caused by organism with the type B polysaccharide capsule commonly abbreviated as HIB. There are conjugate vaccines available to prevent Haemophilus influenza serotype B. Gram stain. Small gram negative pleomorphic cocobacilli are seen in gram stain method. Colony morphology. Large, flat, colorless to gray, opaque colonies on chocolate agar. Encapsulated strains appear more mucoid than non encapsulated strains that appear as compact grayish colonies. Gram stain from colonies will yield small gram negative bacilli or cocobacilli. 
growth factor x and v factors requirement hemophilus influenza is a fastidious organism requiring media containing human x factor and nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide nad as v factor for the growth a standard medium is chocolate agar a good source of both x and v factors heating the blood agar is necessary to make both factors available to the organism Hemophilus influenza is identified on the basis of its growth requirement for X and V factors. Identification of the Hemophilus influenza serotype. Hemophilus influenza is recognized to have six serotypes A, B, C, D, E, F. Hemophilus influenza type B is the major cause of both Hemophilus influenza meningitis and pneumonia. Antibiotic sensitivity testing. The recommended medium for antimicrobial susceptibility testing for hemophilus influenza is hemophilus test medium that contains X and V factors or the chocolate agar can be used. Neisseria meningitis. Neisseria meningitis is an encapsulated bacterium and is classified into A, B, C, Y and W135 serotypes based on the immunological reactivity of the capsules polysaccharide. This bacteria can cause large-scale epidemics compared to other meningitis bacteria. Neisseria meningitis is spread through saliva and respiratory secretions during coughing, sneezing, kissing, chewing on toys and through sharing a source of water. Gram stain. Neisseria meningitis is a gram-negative kidney bean or coffee bean-shaped diplococcus. Appear and intracellularly or extracellularly in neutrophils. Colony morphology. On blood agar and chocolate agar, colonies are round, smooth, moist, glistening and convex with a clearly defining edge. Older cultures more than 24 hours become more opaquely grey and sometimes cause the underlying agar to turn dark. Tyre Martin medium and New York City medium are also support the growth of Neisseria meningitis. Covax oxidase test. The oxidase test determines the presence of cytochrome oxidase. The COVAX oxidase reagent, 1% tetramethyl paraphenylene diamine hydrochloride is turned into purple compound by organisms containing cytochrome C. As part of the respiratory chain, therefore, an oxidase positive test will yield a purple reaction. Carbohydrate utilization by Neisseria meningitis. Various carbohydrates are added to the cysteine triptychase agar base to a final concentration of 1%. To confirm the culture as Neisseria meningitis, a set of four tubes each containing a sugar, glucose, maltose, lactose and sucrose is used. Members of the Neisseria species produce acid from carbohydrate by oxidation, not fermentation. Neisseria meningitis oxidizes glucose and maltose but not lactose and sucrose. A phenol red indicator is included in the medium as a pH indicator that changes the color to yellow at a pH of 6.8 or less. Serotyping. Various serotypes of Neisseria meningitis are differentiated by slide agglutination test using monovalent antisera. Streptococcus pneumoniae. Streptococcus pneumoniae is a common agent of lower and upper respiratory diseases such as pneumonia, meningitis and acute OTTs media, the middle ear infection affecting children and adult worldwide. Persons have sickle cell disease, anatomic asplenia and immunocompromised have increased susceptibility to strep pneumoniae. Gram stain. Strep pneumonia are gram positive diplococci or chains of cocci. Colony morphology. On blood agar and chocolate agar plates, strep pneumonia colonies appear small grayish and mucoid and they are surrounded by a greenish zone of alpha hemolysis. Colonies of pneumococci and alpha hemolytic viridens, streptococci, both appear raised when young. After 24 to 48 hours, the center of the pneumococcal colonies become depressed, but viridian streptococcal colonies remains their raised appearance. Laboratory differentiation between strep pneumoniae and viridian streptococci is done by optochin and bile solubility testing.
pneumococci are optochin susceptible and bile soluble but viridem stepped cocci are not. Next is group B streptococci are also called stepped alligatoria. Normal flora are female genital tract and lower gastrointestinal tract may occasionally colonize upper respiratory tract also. Infection in fetus and infants are acquired by person to person transmission from mother to utero or during delivery may also be nasocomially transmitted by unwashed hands of mother or healthcare personnel. Infections most commonly involves neonates and infants often proceed by premature rupture of mother's membrane. Group B streptococci or gram positive caucus with tendency to form chains. Colony morphology. They are facultative anaerobes, grows readily on blood agar plate with beta hemolytic colonies. Group B strep is characterized by the presence of group B cell wall antigen that can be detected directly in intact bacteria by the latex agglutination test. Group B strep are catalase negative and they are able to hydrolyze hipporate. The CAMP test is also another important test for identification of group B streptococci. Thank you. Thanks for watching.